So for some strange reason, people call me a clown, but then ask me my opinion on stocks at the same time. So I find that hilarious, but it is what it is. Think about subscribing. So I've been getting the question a lot. Should I sell my Tesla stock and buy in uh, and buy NVIDIA? I know why people are asking me that because you got an influencers abandoning, abandoning the Titanic of Tesla running to uh, NVIDIA. The good old buy Tesla high, sell it low, buy NVIDIA high. <laughs> Sounds great. Now, here's here's what I'm going to come out and say. It's all the Tesla people out there. I understand you want to convince yourself it's not a car company, but Tesla is a car company. I don't care if they're mapping the United States, selling the information to Google. I don't care about the solar the solar panels they have, it's a car company. If they don't sell another car, they will go bankrupt, okay? They will go bankrupt if they do not sell cars. Now, when it comes to NVIDIA, uh, I can't even believe I'm talking about this. This is like asking me would I rather do crack cocaine or heroin. Uh, I choose not to do either. Now, when, when it comes to NVIDIA, I believe they're in a bubble right now. I believe they're, I believe they're in a bubble, but... If I was going to own one of the two, I would probably say NVIDIA will be better off in the long run. Now, I'm not saying sell your Tesla stock. No. If you want to sell it to buy NVIDIA, you shouldn't have bought Tesla in the first place. Because just two to three years ago, you guys were uh, watching Saturday, Saturday Night Live to see what good old Elon Musk, Mr. Grifter, Mr. Grifter himself, was going to say about Dogecoin. You were taking advice from that guy. So if you're going to sell Tesla, you shouldn't have bought it in the first damn place. I suggest you hold on to it. Now, this is just my opinion. Uh, if I was really a believer in Tesla, I would, er, uh, I would hold on to it or I would buy more if you think they're tanking. And if you, in, if you like NVIDIA too, you can just make more damn money and buy NVIDIA, meaning provide some service, go to work, make overtime and buy NVIDIA too. Or you can eliminate it both and just own the S&P 500 in a total stock market index fund. And that way you can own micro strategy, super micro computer. You know, just two months ago, a month ago, everybody was pumping that trash. You can, you can own all that nonsense. But if I'm going to own one of the two, if I was starting off right now, hold on, I got to merge. Sorry. If I was going to own one of the two, I would own, if I was starting off, I would own, can't believe I'm saying this. I would go with NVIDIA. Not at these prices. I'm not even going to tell you no price predictions or whatever. I, I would rather own them because they got a bigger customer base. They can, they can sell more chips to, to uh, car companies. Now, you know those car companies and the news that were pumping saying that there was no cars during the pandemic and they couldn't make cars and used car prices went up. That was a crock of shit. What car dealership did you ride past? And I know there'll be a troll that will say he saw one. What, what car dealership did you ride past? And they said, we don't have any cars. Like, like they were selling milk. We're all out of milk. We're all out of eggs. I was buying cars all through the pandemic. I never, ever, ever saw a car shortage. I didn't see any car shortages. Well, nah, sorry, we ain't got no cars. That was that was complete bullshit. But NVIDIA, at least they have, you know, more customers they can sell to. They can sell the car companies. They can, they can sell to TV makers and video game people and computer people around the world. I mean, Tesla's cars. If people don't buy cars, you, 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 I mean, you're kind of screwed. I mean, if there's a really bad recession, nobody's going to buy a Tesla Cybertruck. Don't mean to break it to you. I don't think people are buying them ugly pieces of shit now. But nobody's going to buy a Tesla Cybertruck. You know, they're not going to buy the Roadster. Oh, yeah, because the Roadster's not out. Uh, they hyped that shit, didn't come out. And I think they're more likely going to be able to have sales in NVIDIA because People will be able to still work at home. They're going to need computers. They need TVs. They need all cars, not just Teslas. So in my opinion, if I was going to, if, if I was going to purchase a dumpster fire between these two piece of shit stocks, I would go with NVIDIA. That's just my opinion. I can't even believe I said that. I, I own them both in the S and P 500. I suggest you own the S and P 500 on the total stock market index fund. Cause you're going to end up getting, Molly Wap, then you're going to lose a shit ton of money and then you're going to blame the influencer you've been following and it's your fault.
No regrets. Get it.